Hello Indie Game fans! Halloween is this week, but surprisingly, not that many spooky or horror games coming out, with Luigi's Mansion 3 being the main highlight. On the indie game front, several pixel art games are coming out which look pretty good, as well as a long-awaited narrative adventure game, so here are the top 5 best new releases of the week. Cathedral is a very NES style game, but made with modern adaptations and controls, and looks pretty darn great. Playing as an amnesiac knight that woke up in a foreign world, unlock the secrets of your past by defeating the five guardians for their elemental orbs in order to find your way back home. There are a variety of towns biomes, enemies and bosses, all sporting that wonderfully nostalgic design and colour. The music seems excellent as well, and is often an underappreciated portion of such games, so I'm glad to see that the developer paid some attention to this detail. While not tagged as a metroidvania per se, this has an open-ended structure with an interconnected map and over 600 rooms to explore, chock full of secrets and puzzles. There are also upgrades that you can swap out, including things like a double jump and an air dash, so I would certainly classify it as such. Nostalgia is certainly a powerful tool for game developers, but much like Shovel Knight, if done right, this can be excellent as well, but I do really have a great feeling about this one. An SNES style JRPG launches in the coming week with Echoria Ancient Echoes, playing as a hunter whose life is flipped upside down after a hunting trip went awry he must now seek out the ancients in this epic RPG. I really love the look of this and the character sprites in particular, again really utilising nostalgia as a weapon. Everything from the character portraits, overworld sprites, chain of party members following you around and more, all really hit me quite hard in the feels. Final Fantasy VI is also one of my all-time favourites, so while this might not exactly live up to that, it is a nice reminder of what has been and what is yet to come. The beautiful Spirit of the North is an exploration adventure game that has you controlling a fox in Iceland with elements of Nordic folklore, as you follow the instructions of the Guardian of the Northern Lights in following a mysterious red trail in the sky. land is in ruin, but perhaps with some guidance, this fox will be able to awaken the slumbering spirits of the north to restore the land, but this does really look quite beautiful, with the gameplay and feel evoking something like Okami. This comes to PS4 first, so check it out there. 
basically runs itself nowadays. Yeah, I have to assign torches and clean up, uh, priest skeletons every once in a while, but people typically know what to expect. Except, well, these two morons I keep hearing about. Milo and Lola. They're friends their whole lives that then go and die like two minutes before graduating college. They go through processing, get their personal demon, the whole thing. But then they take a cab ride from Sam, and she goes and blabs about the loophole. The drinking-centric adventure game, After Party, launches just in time for Halloween, where you play as best friends Ilo and Lola, who have died and are sent to hell, only to find a loophole that if they outdrink Satan, they may just be able to escape. I told them to outdrink Hell's monarchs first, you know, my psycho relatives. On top of conversations and adventure game style elements, mixing drinks and drinking games will of course feature prominently as well. The Yoki crowds, the lava swamps, the fanatics from the Force Circle. I mean, these complete idiots really have no idea what they're getting into. I need a drink. This is from the developer of the excellent Oxen Free, so fantastic pedigree there. Commencing operations. It's a trap. Xeno Crisis is a super cool and weird title, and that this is actually the PC port of the successfully kickstarted Genesis game, whose campaign concluded in January 2018 where the cartridges of this game actually got made. Just let that sink in for a minute. An arena shooter inspired by the likes of Smash TV, the pixel art is wonderful, the action fast-paced and with a very nice variety of weapons. Killing enemies results in them dropping dog tags, which are used to upgrade your weapons, and there is replayability since the areas are procedurally generated. So awesome that this actually got me taking the number one spot. Xeno Crisis. For more upcoming indie game new releases, check out the previous video or click on the recommended playlist and I will see you after the jump.